Joining me is Dr. Ziegler with over 40 years experience as a physician in the Lower Mainland and more recently focusing on complementary care. He's also the medical director at YesWellness.com which provides natural health products and he's here today to talk about how we can take better care of our skin. Welcome to the show Dr. Ziegler. Thank you, thank you much, I'm glad to be back. So we don't take very good care of our skin, is that correct? Well, you know what? We sort of disregard our sort of skin other than making it look prettier or smell nicer and feel smoother, right? But uh, the skin is a, very, a vital, important organ, and we don't think about it as such. And we dress it, we, we cover it up, <laughs> we do all sort of customization, but uh, it is very vital. And the, and the thing that people forget, it's only about one-tenth of an inch thick. And that is the barrier between you and systemic, what's inside you. So everything you put on your skin, everything that's exposed to in the air, the pollution, can be absorbed through your skin. It's a very permeable membrane. And so we lose sight of what we actually put onto our skin. And what I really wanted to do is to get and talk about a little bit, generally, how to keep your skin healthier. And uh, as we were chatting before, is that your skin is really a reflection of your inner health. You know, it doesn't matter how much stuff you put on it to make it look pretty. You know, if you're under stress, you haven't had enough sleep, uh, you're worried, you're depressed, you're happy, um, <laughs> it shows on your skin, all right? And uh, it's not just the eyes and the nose and the mouth. It's just, just your skin tone, your skin color, just the way your skin feels. You know, if you're really healthy, it's reflected in your skin. So how can we take better care of our skin? Well, it's really important, especially this time of the year, as you know, you're a runner, you're outside a lot, is to really protect yourself uh, and hydrate yourself. So we'll talk about protection first. So I noticed with the gear that you've got on today, you're covering up, covering up most of your arms, most of your legs, um, and with materials we have these days, it's, it's both wicking in terms of taking the moisture off your skin, covering you up, and being um, uh, resistant to the sun. So that's the best way to cover up your hat, cover your hat, head, and then any parts that are exposed to put a, to put a sunblock on it. And, and we're going to talk about sunscreen, sunblocks in a minute. But it's important to remember it's a sunblock. We, we don't want to have any sun. We don't want to have it filtered. We don't want to have a filter. So we're going to talk about that in a minute. So, so dressing properly, using the sunscreen, hydrating, new, good nutrition. So in nutrition, um, it is really important to eat well. So eating lots of vegetables and, and, and greens and fruits is really important and that helps to protect our skin. We don't think about it. We think about it in terms of what's inside, right, and what's in our head. But our skin, it's important, it makes it healthy. Taking vitamin C and vitamin D, both of those products help you to be, to have a natural sun, sunscreen. So you have to be make sure that you're taking enough of that. And we being in a temperate climate, we don't take enough vitamin D3. So it's important to do that. Um, the other thing that um, is really important at this time of the year, and being outside and exercising, is that we sweat a lot. So we sweat a lot, then we wash a lot, we shower a lot, right? So, and, um, and uh, so once we shower, then the skin gets dry. Um, so using correct cleans, cleansing products, so all the chemicals in your soaps and, and things, all the things that you wash your clothes in, that you're wearing on your skin when you're sweating, because it interacts with all the stuff that you're wearing, and it's all wet. It makes a perfect medium to mix and be absorbed. And so it's important to uh, use good cleansing products, healthy cleansing products, environmentally safe products, and then using moisturizers frequently, but again, really picking healthy moisturizers moisturizers without some of the chemicals we're going to talk about later on. Can we make our own skincare products? Yeah, you know, it, uh, you can make, um, you, say for example, for a moisturizer, if you use just coconut oil. And coconut oil, especially at a warmer temperature, is very viscous. In fact, you can almost make it liquid in a hot day. So you can 
just take a bread out of the jar and your Tivo organic coconut oil and rub it in after your bath. It disappears really well. Um, if you want to have a little bit of an, uh, a fragrance to it, that's safe. Put a couple of drops of your favorite essential oil. So if you like lavender, um, whatever, so, you know, just put it on. If you have a little skin blemish, put a little oregano on it, in it, and put it on the skin blemish. So things like that can be done. Um, and you, there are many, many more now uh, safer uh, healthcare products, skincare products on the market. Um, and when, when you talk about what to avoid, um, we'll talk about some of the chemicals that we, we want to avoid. And you'll find that they're ubiquitous. They're in almost all the most popular brands of, of, of products. So if we talk about sunscreens for just a second, because I think right now, especially if you're outside a lot, <clears throat> You know, we've been taught to sort of use sunscreens, like put from the moment you wake up, put it on. <laughs> Whatever makeup yes. you got has got SPF something. Uh, your lipstick, your 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 um, your your lip balm, everything has got SPF something, right. right? And and we've been we've grown up with that. Well, what we found is, in fact, the chemicals we've been using to use as filters that filters the UVA and UVB rays. Um, are producing more problems because of the chemical. So um, it's really important to make sure that you're using the right sunscreen. So most of the ones would be a sunblock, which contains zinc oxide, titanium uh, dioxide. I like the product that just has zinc oxide. And you know, everybody knows what zinc oxide is, right? You put the, the white stuff and it just yeah. sticks on you. You can see it and it doesn't rub it. Well, they've got a little bit better in terms of formulating it. And sometimes they formulate it with botanicals that are safe and healthy for your skin. Uh, and it's made smoother and, and absorbs better. So there are, I've, I've tried many over-the-counter uh, sunscreen with just those products in them. And they're, they go on very nicely. And they're, and they are, they're fragrance-free. If you want a fragrance, they've added a healthy fragrance as opposed to some chemical fragrance. Um, so you can use those and use them just where you're exposed, right? And um, so that's a sunblock as opposed to filter. So the chemicals that are uh, in the other commercial sunscreens, they just filter those, but they, they themselves become the environmental toxin. So what skincare products would you recommend? Basically, the, the general, general things that guide you are that they are organic, mm -hmm. uh, that they don't have any added chemicals. So if you go through the list, and you have to remember when you're looking at the list of ingredients, the, the, they list the ones that have the most by volume first. And you have to remember they're not, they're not um, required to list all their products. So some of the beauty products I've seen, they don't have a list of all the things that are in it, so you don't know. Or hard to pronounce. Yes. Well, the one if they, if it's hard to pronounce, that's the one you don't you want to avoid. All right. That's what it is. If anything you can't read very quickly, you want to avoid that. And so you know, so if you say, for example, you're looking at a product um, that has uh, candula, uh, calendula oil in it. Well, if it's way down at the bottom the list, you know that there isn't much yes. of that oil in it. It's because these chemicals at the top, listed first, are there in larger volumes. So reading the label, looking to see, as I say, if you if you look at the label and you can't read it, avoid it. And similarly, if if you look at that and you think, man, would I eat that? <laughs> then it's also better to avoid it. Generally, a really healthy skin product, you would probably be safe in eating it, yes. uh, as opposed to just putting it on your skin. So a lot of the a lot of the moisturizers use em oil or coconut oil. Well, you can eat those. You know, you, they're 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 fine. They do a lot of beneficial things for you. And you can put them on your skin, and and you can use it in your hair, and you can use it, um, you know, for chafing, and you can use it for um, mixing it with certain things like um, activated charcoal or. Um, uh, 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 natural vinegars, right. fermented vinegars, vinegars to put on bruising and sores and bites and that sort of thing. So yeah, so you want to look at the ins instructions and the ingredients 
and they make sure they're organic. If there are botanicals in them, don't be afraid of the botanicals. Most of the botanicals that they use are basically pure botanicals, and there's not too many of those that are going to be a problem unless you were particularly allergic to a botanical, right? So just like any other chemical, synthetic kind of ingredient, you can be allergic to some of the um, botanicals as well that you have to pay attention to. Good information. I just love, you know, you're, you're fond of saying don't put anything in your body that you would need if you yes. had to. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Dr. Ziegler, for coming on the show, and we'll see you next time. That was my pleasure.